Hey everybody, it's Jennifer. How you doing? I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, I thought we could make my regular doll makeup creepier. Cause everybody likes spooky, creepy shit in, ha in, in Halloween, for Halloween in October. So if you missed how to get the main part of this look, I will have the video linked down below. It was day one of 31 days of Halloween and it was just this really simple marionette ventriloquist porcelain doll situation and right now we're rolling with porcelain more than anything else because now we have fallen and we have cracked our head there are pieces of our skin porcelain porcelain skin whatever missing there's hunks of our face missing so this was hella easy if you go back and you follow through the doll makeup tutorial literally all you need is a contour shade like a literal face contour shade white eyeliner black eyeliner and black eyeshadow super super easy to do um i like how it came out i'm liking my forehead cracks more than my side cracks there's a little bit too much highlight going on over there but it's okay so if you guys are excited to see the rest of 31 days of Halloween or to see how to crack your face. My neck just cracked. I don't know if you guys heard it, but it definitely did. That was beautiful. That was the universe giving me a good pun. Anyway, if you're excited for this video or for any other videos in my 31 days of Halloween series, give this video a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel. I am doing a giveaway at 200 subscribers, but I'm pre-filming like a mofo for 31 days of Halloween. So if I hit, if I hit 200 in the middle of October or any time pretty much in October, um, the giveaway will start probably in November because I'm pre-filming and video Jennifer and real Jennifer two different areas like I'm just saying so I hope you guys stick around to see how to crack your face how to become a creepy doll um like I said in the original doll video if you, you're like a last minute planner or well if you don't plan and you do shit last minute this is a super easy Halloween look to achieve all you really need is like a frilly shirt or dress and to curl your hair girl and then you're a freaking doll you're a doll and now you can be a cracked doll it's whatever I'm gonna stop rambling let's get into the video I hope you guys enjoy it once you have your regular porcelain doll makeup on which I will link down below as well I'm going to start off by using a liquid black eyeliner pen I recommend using a liquid liner instead of a pencil liner because you can get smaller more precise cracks without them smearing so I'm basically just drawing tiny little cracks and kind of making them wavy. A few of them have jagged edges and I'm slightly connecting them all. And I'm also drawing almost a hexagon shape on my cheek to be where a chunk of the porcelain is missing off of my face. So you're just going to do this wherever you want cracks. I end up doing it on my cheek and adding a few more holes and then I add some on my forehead as well. So once I finished with my cheek holes and cracks, I wanted to add some onto my forehead so you could see them easier in the video. I'm just drawing a kind of off-centered square diamond kind of shape. And I go ahead and slightly fill it in with my liquid eyeliner so I know that that's the chunk I want missing. And you want to vary the thickness and the shapes of your cracks as they're coming out because when you actually break porcelain it doesn't just like shatter into perfect little lines you want to add some curves and some jagged pieces Once 
Once you get done with all your liquid eyeliner work, I'm going to take a black pencil eyeliner. I think this is a gel eyeliner pencil. It doesn't really matter. And I'm just starting to fill in my holes a little bit more. You can stop if you're just doing this for like cool Halloween pictures. But if you're actually wearing this out, you're going to want to put something over the creamy eyeliner so it doesn't smear. And like I said, so things don't smear all over my face, I'm taking a matte black eyeshadow on a small little eyeshadow brush and filling in my holes over that cream eyeliner. This will just matte it out so it looks more realistic and it'll, pop, it'll keep it from smearing everywhere. Once you get done filling in all your little holes, I'm going to take a liquid white eyeliner. I what? A liquid white eyeliner and add highlights around the cracks that are on my face. This is just going to kind of make it look a little more shiny and doll-like, if that makes sense at all. You don't have to do this over every single crack. I'm pretty sure I didn't. You just want to, you know, go with the flow. Highlight a few. Got a little carried away with my highlighting, but it's okay. Now I'm going to take any face contour shade. I think mine is Maybelline. And I'm going to take a little pencil brush and do a little bit of shading around the holes that are missing in my face just to add depth to it. And then lastly, I'm going to take a white eyeshadow and place it into the holes to make them look a little more deep. And that was it. Super easy, right? So that was how I cracked my face. <laughs> Get it? Okay, not really. But that is how to create cracks on your face. You can skip doing the giant black holes on your face. And you can just do, like, cracks. I guess but I kind of like the giant holes because it makes it look like a hunk I don't know if you guys ever had a porcelain doll when you were younger and like dropped it and broke it but like that's literally what happens a chunk falls out and then it cracks all around it um if I could redo this <laughs> the white highlights would not be as apparent it was super easy just like I told you guys I don't really have anything else to say other than give this video a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel if you're excited for the rest of 31 days of Halloween and I will see you all tomorrow in the new Halloween look because we're doing one every single day because I'm crazy and have no life yeah I, I don't know what's wrong with me bye guys